Thank you very much, Mr. President. My question is to the Minister representing the Minister for the Environment and Energy, Senator Birmingham. Order. How is the coalition government shifting the balance of the electricity market in favour of households and businesses? Order. Order. The Minister representing the Minister for the Environment and Energy, Senator Birmingham. Well, thanks very much, Mr. President. I thank Senator Hume for her question. For Senator Hume's absolute commitment to ensuring that Australian households and businesses have the lowest electricity prices possible, which is the driving intention of the Turnbull government, has been for the last couple of years as we have worked through reform after reform to drive down energy prices. And today we announced a series of further reforms to further drive down energy prices. The Australian Competition and Consumer Commission released its retail electricity pricing inquiry in July, and they announced and made it very clear that the national energy market is not operating in the best interests of Australian consumers and the reform is urgently needed. That's why today the Turnbull government has announced that we are going to act on a number of those recommendations. Consistent with recommendations 30 and 49 of the report, the ACCC and the Australian Energy Regulator will begin work on calculating a default price for households and small to medium-sized businesses to replace the current non-price regulated jurisdictions. The ACCC found a significant gap between standing offer prices and market offer prices, which has become excessive and that consumers have not been seeking the better deals. Default offer will provide additional protection, additional protection that for average consumers could be in the range of between $183 and $416. These are real potential savings to households, to businesses, medium businesses, that could be a saving of between $561 and upwards of $1,400. The government will also be accepting the ACCC's recommendation to implement a program to underwrite new, stable, low-cost, dispatchable generation for commercial and industrial consumers ensuring that's a technology neutral program as recommended by the ACCC giving further action to build on our already successful reforms that are already Order, driving Senator down Birmingham. energy prices. Senator Hume, supplementary question. Thank you. Thank you Mr President. Can the minister inform the Senate about the government's plan? Order. Order, Senator. Order on my left. I have uh, order on my left and now my right. Order. Senator Collins Macdonald, I have asked for silence during questions. Senator Hume, please continue. Thank you, Mr. President. Can the minister inform the Senate about the government's plan to ensure that households and small businesses are getting the best possible deal? Senator Birmingham. Well, thanks, uh, thanks, Mr. President. Under our plan, as recommended by the ACCC, the AER would be given the power to set a default market offer in re each region. Customers who are on high price standing offers would see their electricity price decrease as they move to the lower default market offer. The government would also simplify the confusing array of offers that are currently on the market by requiring retailers to use the new default rate as a reference point for all advertised discounts. This will give customers much greater clarity when they go to consider whether or not to switch energy plans and, if so, what energy plan to switch to. Limits will also be placed on the penalties that customers can face when they don't pay their bills on time and lose their discounts. This government will work to ensure that states and territories act on this reform, but if they do not agree, we'll implement it through Commonwealth law, because we are determined to make sure this new default offer applies from July 2019 at the latest Order, to give Senator that Birmingham. certainty to consumers. Senator Hume, a final supplementary question. Thank you, Mr President. Can the minister update the Senate on how the government will back the, top, the tough cop on the beat to ensure that companies do the right thing by their customers? Senator Birmingham. Mr President, not only are we going to make sure that these reforms are in place, but we will hold energy companies to account to make sure they are delivered upon and that consumers see the real benefits in relation to these reforms. The ACCC will prepare ongoing reports identifying cases where outcomes are unacceptable. Businesses will have the opportunity to explain and rectify those issues. But if businesses fail to do so, the ACCC will be empowered to recommend proportional and targeted responses for the Treasurer's determination. 
The range of enforcements and remedies that could be applied are wide-ranging and far-reaching and go further than any such remedies ever proposed before. They range from beginning with a public warning notice to be issued by the Treasurer, through court enforceable undertakings, conversion of the default market office into a binding price cap, ultimately the potential of divestiture of assets or parts of energy businesses to make sure those businesses understand the severity of their Order. failure Senator to put consumers' rights the answer first. Has expired.